Election monitors warned the San Diego County Registrar of Voters last November about possible ballots cast in the name of dead voters. Four of those voters were featured in a UT watchdog story in July. They have been dead for a long time and they're still registered to vote. They died in 1995, 1998, 2001, 2005. The November warning came from the Election Integrity Project, a group of volunteers who check voter registration databases against state death records for signs of fraud. Ruth Weiss is the group's San Diego representative. She met with County Registrar Michael Vu earlier this month, and she told us he's generally been open and responsive. There are some laws, particularly the, the 1993 uh, voter, National Voter Registration Act, is keeping him from being able to clean the rolls as well as he should. But the bigger picture his, here is that should not be his job. We are the only state in the nation who is not in compliance with a 2002 federal law called the, the Help America Vote Act. Mm -hmm. and that law requires that every state have a top-down statewide voter database. Our Secretary of State has refused to do that and has squelched a couple of uh, attempts to do that and so we are still t uh, 12 years later without that nationally required voter database. State law requires county clerks to provide monthly death records to their registrar of voters. The state health department is supposed to send in death records for people who die in other counties. Registrars use those records to remove voters from the rolls, but they have to tread carefully because they can be sued by the federal government or civil rights groups if they cancel the registration for the wrong person. Vu declined to be interviewed on camera, but he told the watchdog there was no way to determine why the four voters from years ago were left on the rolls. Vu's office can flag suspicious voters, but only law enforcement can investigate allegations of voter fraud. He said his office would remove any dead voters where they had enough evidence to comply with state and federal law. For The Watchdog, I'm Joel Hoffman, UTTV.